Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. Today is your daily reading for Tuesday, February 15th, 2022. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to you. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly, truly grateful for each and every one of you. So today we're going to float with the fairies a little bit, grab a little bit of fairy magic out here. Hopefully everybody had a good Valentine's Day. If you don't have a significant other, hopefully you uh, managed to, thank you, do something nice for yourself or perhaps spend some time with somebody that you actually like and uh, or at least do something nice for yourself. So a reminder there with doing something nice for yourself is that I do still have a contest running all the way up until March 6th. All you need to do is one nice thing for yourself, just one little thing, just to show yourself a little bit of self-love, self-care, and then drop a comment in the box down below, say, I love myself, and uh, you'll be entered for that contest. So all the way up until March 6th, I will announce the winner on March 9th. So hopefully while you're there dropping a comment, hopefully you hit like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already as well. But let's have a look and see what else we've got coming out here for you guys today. What the fairies have to say, go outside. Hopefully you're in a climate where you can actually go outside without freezing to death. And uh, so spirit really wants you here to connect with nature, to ground your energy and uh, maybe get, just get some fresh air. You know, we spend a lot of time cooped up indoors. Uh, if you've got a dog, maybe you want to go for a walk in a different area than you normally do or, you know, just otherwise just get that fresh air. It's time to go outside, tune into the powerful peace of nature wherever you are and feel at one with your habitat, right? So uh, getting out in nature is actually a great way to ground your energy. But we also have hidden depths coming here. Something hidden is about to come to light. Ooh, a surprise. Perhaps a secret or a memory at the back of your mind. When we expose what's hidden, we can become free. So if you don't get something a little bit unexpected today, then perhaps you're on a search for uh, some personal discovery. Uh, or maybe something uh, triggers you in some way today. Something comes to the surface. You know, sometimes we repress energy or we repress, re we, excuse me, we repress memories. Whoa, that's a tongue twister. And, um, you know, because we don't really want to deal with the hard stuff, right? We want to deal with the good stuff. We don't really want to deal with the hard stuff. So we do tend to bury things down, but it's actually healthy when these things come to the surface. And uh, we are coming, we are in a full moon energy right about now. Okay, so full moon in Leo occurs uh, tomorrow, Wednesday. And so we're right full bang smack in the middle of this moon energy. And of course the moon, thank you, uh, of course, the moon does bring things to light. It does bring things to the surface. Uh, so, you know, this is perfect time to explore any kind of uh, energies that have been buried and either embrace them. Uh, if it's something that you've forgotten or put off, something really positive, some creative inspiration, or release them and let them go with this full moon. And then you can feel lighter and brighter. So we've got currently, we've got the six of autumn coming out. Now there's a little bit of a surprise because that is uh, the six of pentacles energy. Six of pentacles quite often is a little bit of an increase coming in there for you. And uh, it might just be like a little small thing. Um, you know, someone uh, left me a comment not long ago. The last time I had the six of pentacles come up, I had used an example that uh, uh, I had got one for myself and I think found like you know, 20 bucks in my pocket or something like that. And uh, this person left me a comment and the day that we pulled the six of uh, pentacles energy out of the reading, she uh, found uh, 50 pounds. Uh, so it's probably, I don't know, in US or Canadian dollars. I think you almost double it. Well, it depends where you are. But anyways, but you know, 50 pounds is uh, no small chunk of change. So you never know what might happen with the six of autumn. It's typically not necessarily a windfall. It was just like a little bit of something, something just to alleviate your financial concerns. But here we go. We've got the good you do comes back to you an unexpected inflow of money and borrowing wisely and repaying a debt. But the six of pentacles is uh, really attached to the law of giving and receiving, right? All of the good that you've put out into the universe, it's all bouncing on back into you now. And when it comes back to you, it comes back multiplied. So it's a great energy for manifestations. It's a great energy for kind of that karmic return. Okay. It's also a charity card as well. Well, 
And, you know, it's really that reminder that comes in from spirit, you know, to uh, of a reciprocal give and take, right? We sometimes give our energy, our time, our knowledge, our commitment without necessarily expect anything back in return. But with the six of autumn energy, the six of pentacles, it actually does come back to us. Okay, so it's uh, actually a really wonderful card because sometimes you know when you're up you help others and when you're down hopefully someone's there to help you or at least get this energetic return so you could certainly have some improvements there coming in in your uh, financial sector okay something to do with your commitments um you know perhaps someone gets on the same page as you and uh, it could also be about your knowledge and your time as well something in your material world but it also does represent a little bit of balance so very nice energy we've got the renewal card this is the judgment card this is coming into you today so again with that hidden depths energy perhaps something that has been buried comes to light a truth comes to light it's truth revealed the judgment card energy really does bring things out of the darkness into the light so perhaps there's been something that has been hidden from you in some way it could be knowledge information uh, it could be, you know, something, some underlying emotions. It could certainly be something as well that, uh, you know, that you've put off for a while, maybe some creative endeavor or, uh, you know, something along those lines. It could even be something to do with a relationship, right? So whatever that happens to be, truths revealed, all the cards out on the table, okay, and nothing hidden anymore, okay? So there may actually be a little bit of a surprise coming in for some of you today, all right? But this, this just Judgment energy could certainly be where um, you might need to hash something out with somebody because it does bring about the possibility of reconciliation and second chances as well. Okay, so it really is where we review something from the past or something that's been going on and we really bring everything to light. We, we kind of um, have a review and then we decide whether we're going to let something go um, or whether we're going to gather it all up again and kind of fix it, right? Give something a second chance. So this could certainly be, if it's a person, it could certainly be someone in your workplace, right? It could be something to do with a relationship, uh, throw all your cards on the table. It could also be a return of something as well, okay? We've got something returning back to you with the Six of Autumn, and the Judgment card could certainly be something about a second chance, okay? So there could be, especially since this is, um, you know, money, okay you could have a second chance at a job or a project or maybe a promotion okay you could have a second chance to renew a relationship perhaps something's gotten off the rails a little bit and perhaps what you're looking for is a uh, equal give and take in those relationships and again whether it's your workplace or your personal right sometimes things get a little bit out of balance so you may have the opportunity here to restore a little bit of balance uh, in your life in a relationship right honest days work for an honest day's pay. Two people, both people equally committed on the same page. All right. And I think that here, if you're not getting that, then perhaps maybe there's something that you are letting go, or at least you're letting some previous energy go. All right. We also have, oh, look at that. We've got the tower card coming in here. Of course, they call this one, the little fairies call it something a little bit different, but this is, uh, uh, this is the tower card. And um, this is your advice from spirit though. We'll let it go. You may receive some sort of epiphany, revelation, some sort of surprise, okay, something that makes your blood pump, your energy flow, okay, something that gets your, your blood rushing, right? Sometimes, you know, sometimes you stumble upon a piece of information and it like hits you like a ton of bricks and you're like, whoa, and you can actually just feel that adrenaline start to flow through you. So you could certainly have something internally within you, especially, I mean, holy moly, okay, I mean, the judgment card with the tower card, all right. I think there's a sudden shift in some of your energies here, okay? So uh, the Tower card always reminds us to let go of things that no longer serve us. Old patterns, habits, behaviors, belief systems, old energy, all of these things. Maybe people, um, you know, and expectations as well, okay? Because when we 
get rid of the old, we're left with a strong, firm foundation. We're left with the stuff that works, but we've also made room for new experiences. We've made room for new people, new thought processes, new energy, all of these things. So your advice from spirit there is let go of anything that no longer serves you. Uh, try, do, try doing something a little bit differently. Have a look reflect with the judgment card there reflect on your current situation whatever is at the forefront of your mind right now reflect on that and see what you could do differently or see uh you know if you're on the right track okay but uh the tower card really does bring in a little bit of a shift maybe a surprise okay pay attention to your intuition absolutely some of you may actually be experiencing we've got some big moon energy okay and uh, some of you may actually be experiencing a bit of a spiritual awakening as well the judgment card can absolutely be a uh, spiritual awakening, right? Usually represented by Archangel Michael coming in to give us those enlightenments, to give us our power and to help us detach from any old energies, right? Or any old um, belief systems, ways of thinking. So I feel there's some changes on the horizon for some of you here. And I think you're doing it consciously. I don't think it's something necessarily so much out of the blue. Although granted, we do have two elements of surprise coming in here. So uh, you never know, you know, you could have something coming to you that you didn't expect, or maybe you stumble across, across something that is really super positive. The judgment card is where we sometimes see the light at the end of the tunnel as well. Maybe we start to see those truths, but we also start to see our path forward. Okay, so release anything that is blocking you there. We've got the Four of Summer coming in as blessings headed your way. This is the Four of Cups. And uh, so again, again, there might be a little bit of a surprise or something unexpected, uh, something new or something improved coming your way. Um, so because sometimes the Four of Cups, right? You got a guy usually sitting there with three cups in front and then another one coming in from left field. So there could certainly be something that you have missed or that you haven't seen. And this is coming to light today. Okay, this is your blessing, right? This is benefiting you working in your favor. It could be a person, a project, an endeavor. Uh, it could just be the shift of energy so that you re-engage with your environment or, you know, with whatever, again, situation is most important to you in the day forward. The four of... Uh, the Four of Summer is, of course, that Four of Cups, and uh, it does remind us that sometimes we need to be open and receptive to new experiences, new things, or someone else's point of view. We sometimes need to be, uh, you know, kind of have another look at our current situation because sometimes that fourth cup coming in, sometimes that can represent you uh, imagining something a little bit different, right? Like the grass is always greener on the other side, which we all know it's not. Okay, so there could be a little bit of imagination, you know, either how do I improve my current situation or maybe a little bit of daydreaming there. Okay, and sometimes we need to come back to center. We need to focus on where we are in the here and now, and we can actually re-engage or improve our current circumstance. But if not, I feel as though there is an opportunity perhaps to re-engage, right? Um, or there may be some sort of surprise that's coming in for you, okay? Something a little unexpected. Or when you uh, expand your vision, expand your mind, that's where you sometimes find things that you hadn't seen before, okay? So really being open and receptive is very, very important, we have the devil card coming out here as well as your overall outcome. So here we go. I really do feel that you're really having a look at the things that don't work in your life, okay, or habits or patterns that you exhibit here as well. And I think here with the devil card, right, it is called ego in this particular deck. But, you know, but I think that you're really looking to release anything negative in your life. And I mean, we've got three major arcanas coming out here for your daily reading. So whenever we have that, there's big, big, big energy that's flowing around. So it's actually, I love it when we get the devil card with the judgment card at the same time, because this is a wonderful work in progress, a symphony in progress, if you will, where we actually really do take Take a good look at those things in our life that keep us trapped, stuck, things that keep us attached, um, things within us, okay, our own habits, patterns, behaviors, okay, or any old energy that's still stuck to us, okay, and, you know, or those experiences, those situations in our life, and I think that judgment card here is really helping you keep perspective, put up some boundaries, detach from any anything that is 
you know, dragging you down. Okay. And I think that you're going to either release it. Okay. With this full moon, you're going to uh, experience a big sudden shift, a change within yourself. You may also be making plans to make a change in your environment, but you could also learn to live with your current situation. Think of a job that you don't necessarily like. You've got some toxic people, um, perhaps a boss that's a little bit ornery uh, to say the least. Okay. But yet you're stuck there. You're trapped there. Perhaps you don't have any other options at the moment. You might be on the quest and looking for one with the four of summer. Okay. But sometimes you need to learn to live with your current situation until such time presents itself. Then you can make a big change. How do you do that? Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Protect your energy, protect yourself, protect your thoughts, not get wrapped up in any kind of drama or anything like that, but those boundaries and stick to your guns. And I think that you've got some real angelic help here with Archangel Michael to really help you step into your personal power and figure out how to do that. Okay, the devil card can actually also just represent things like... um. Uh, something in the mundane, like things like your daily habits, like your food, you know, maybe your alcohol consumption. Uh, you know, it's been, uh, if you're in the States or wherever, you may have uh, overindulged a little bit uh, in the last couple of days. It's, uh, you know, we had uh, Super Bowl and then Valentine's Day. So perhaps this is you uh, trying to get back on track and uh, trying to do uh, do some maybe detox a little bit. Okay. So whatever that is, I feel there's a big energy of change maybe some surprise, um, you know, releasing, letting go. And uh, I think you're also really going to perhaps get a second chance at something here as well. Okay, but certainly putting up some boundaries there with that particular card. So the fairies run deep today. All right, so let's uh, close out the reading with a couple last fairy cards. We're just going to stay with the fairy theme today. All right, and man, oh man, did they ever have some uh, energy to bring to you. So let's just get a couple last pieces of advice, information here. Thank you very much. And what do we have here first? We've got flower power. Spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power. Now, that's very closely associated with nature, trees, nature, being grounded. But this could also be representing perhaps flowers hold significance for you. The smell, the sight, the, you know, all of these things. Um, or you could also be working with some essential oils. Right, essential oils can really help you uh, with your energy as well. We also have affirmations. Hello, moon energy. To lift up your thoughts and your energy and to attract what you desire, use positive affirmations. We always forget that, right? Have you ever tried looking in the mirror and, you know, telling yourself your reflection, I love you? It's not as easy as you think it is, okay? But, you know, especially with the moon energy that we've got going on, positive, positive, positive affirmations. Always focus on what you want to attract into your life. All right, so I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated. If there was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to enter that contest as well if you're interested. And um, so, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.